Well, you know what they say There are no kingdoms without rulers Are you ready for change? We could be kings and queens every day Good morning, how are we all doing today? Today is the exciting day I shared about yesterday where I am going to go get measured for my wedding dress and have a little mooch around the shops and try and get colours for bridesmaid dresses and the men's suits because they're all things that haven't been decided. I've had a bit of a palaver with the bridesmaid dresses and I've sent back three so far because they were nothing like the colour that was advertised so I'll share one of those dresses because I've got some downstairs. I just thought we'd bring you along for a very wedding themed day. Um, I think it's going to be really really nice and I am looking forward to it. I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get while I'm out and about. Some places don't really like you filming in their shops so I need to respect their privacy as well but I will do my best um, and hopefully we might get some nice food while we're out and about too. So what I need to do now, I've got about an hour to I need to set off for my appointment. I need to put some makeup on and <laughs> I had a fiddle around last night trying to do some hairstyles like low buns because that's the kind of hairstyle I think I might do for the wedding and if I'm able to try my wedding dress on today I want to try it with my hair looking like it's going to look like I've got my shoes like I just kind of want to get in the zone <laughs> so uh, yeah I didn't have very much success last night and I didn't have enough hair grips and I went to the shops this morning and I forgot money <laughs> which is always helpful. So I've currently got four hair grips. I had an entire strip and the cats have slowly but surely disappeared them all. So who knows where the rest are. So I'm gonna do what I can with that. I used to do messy buns quite a lot. All the hairstyles I tried yesterday were for people with really long hair and I just had mine cut. So you know that fresh haircut thing where it like flicks out and it's all quite blunt at the ends. So that was not a go, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do my best. So I don't know, I'm not much of a hair tutorial person, but I'll leave some down below that I may end up using and we will see what we end up with, so. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain Well, I think we've done it guys. <laughs> I don't know how I've just pulled that off. I am now going to go and hairspray it within an inch of its life. It only has to hold up for like an hour and a half, so yeah, I am... Um... I think this is kind of how I want to have it. I don't know about these bits. These bits are a bit crazy. Uh, I maybe need like a smaller curling wand. Like I'm going to have it done properly. Um, and then that's the back. So I think like a low bun. I've got quite a nice dress. Like the back's very pretty. So I want to be able to show the back off a little bit. Um, and I'm happy. I'm really happy with the colour of my hair because I had it done yesterday. So I think maybe just lighten it up under here a little bit closer to the day, but <laughs> I'm pleased. I tried about four times last night to make it work and that just worked on the first time. Messy buns are like that though. I don't know if you are the same. It's like it either works or you have to do it 400 times and it falls out all day. <laughs> so <laughs> next up is makeup. I'm just gonna throw some makeup on um, and then it'll be time to go. Take away your sorrow and the old ways get washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on. Okay, so I am gonna take my shoes out of the box. <laughs> I will show you. Ooh, noisy. I will show you these once I am back home, um, but I am, I am very happy with them. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not, a sh I'm not a shoe person. I own one pair of heels. This is the second pair of heels I own. Um, and I'm not a designer shoe person by any means, but I felt like I looked at different wedding shoes and I bought some cheaper ones and then I wasn't happy with them. Then Black Friday happened and I didn't buy anything else on Black Friday other than my wedding shoes. Um, and you'll understand why when you see them because I feel like they're very special and I can't wait to just have them forever and hopefully one day be able to share them with my children and just like have nice happy memories. So 
Here's a box, sneak peek, Charlotte Mills, oh my god, I love them. Um, so I'm popping those into here so that they're ready and I've got the receipts in case they need proof that I bought my dress. I really, really hope I can try it on, I've got all dressed up. <laughs> um, so we'll see, we will see. Uh, I think I mentioned I am going back for a second appointment. I went about just over, I think it was about two months ago. I tried my dress on and it was amazing. It was a bit snug and I wasn't buying it off the peg so they were gonna order it in and she was really kind because I said, you know, like, what do I do about the dress size? I'm bigger than I want to be. Like, I, I was bigger then than I've ever been in my life and I just didn't feel comfortable in my body and I knew I wouldn't want to get married that size. Um, now I'm back down to a size that I'm like happy with. Um, if I can lose a bit more weight or just get a bit more lean, I'll be very, very happy. But nothing too extreme and she said they can go up or down two dress sizes so now I'm back down to my normal weight I feel like I've got a bit more wiggle room and she was really kind and considerate for that as well because if I'd have bought the other dress size it would have been much bigger and I wouldn't have had the opportunity to get to like a more leaner weight if I wanted to so yes everything always works out for a reason um but I will report back with how it all goes and hopefully I get to take some nice clips and bring you along with me but I am gonna get going now because I don't want to be late <laughs> so I thought I would share an outfit of the day I don't do these very often because I am no fashionista I wear a lot of the same clothes and I have no fashion sense I just like comfortable simple clothing but I do like what I'm wearing today I like all of the pieces so I've got this jumper dress on that I got with you guys a few weeks ago from Matalan and I have loved wearing it and I've just folded the collar over like underneath rather than over the top and it works really well my infamous scarf <laughs> from next a few winters ago just love the colors in this my leggings are from love Le love leggings which is my new favorite brand for leggings they're so thick and well made and they're gorgeous the only thing with these is the skin color <laughs> so if I wear my coat I look just like I'm not wearing anything and sometimes that's not the look you're going for <laughs> um and this coat I think was from Tesco last year. I do love supermarket clothing. Um, I try not to buy new clothes very often. So if I end up like needing clothing in a rush or like just feel in the mood, that's where I end up. <laughs> so yeah, that is my outfit. And I think it looks very smart, especially with my hair up and I feel really good. Um, I like to get a bit more dressed up for little occasions like this one where it feels a bit more special. so nice to try on my wedding dress and I felt amazing in it and they complimented me on how uh, much better it fits so that's all sorted now and I just went to a bridesmaid shop and I think I might have found the colour so that's exciting as well and now I'm just heading to some suit shops to hopefully just have a look at different suit colours and we'll see what we can find but I'm having an amazing day and the food absolutely delicious. <laughs> Dreaming of you, dreaming of you, dreaming of you. 
next day by the time I got back from my little window shopping trip last night it was quite late and I thought you know what I want to wait till it's daylight to show you my shoes and other bits so that you can actually see what they look like. Echo is in a box full of tissue paper living his best life right now. So I'll show you my shoes because I mentioned them yesterday. I am in love with them so they come in this little fancy box. I've never I've never experienced fancy shoes before so it was a first. So this is what they look like. Very simple and beautiful and I just I love them so so much. So what sets this brand apart is they put a little silver sixpence in your shoe and there's a little little poem on the bo bottom which is quite a popular poem. I don't know if it's popular in all countries. Uh, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue and a silver sixpence in her shoe. <laughs> so it literally covers everything so <sighs> I just love them. So there's the silver sixpence, there's the blue insole, they are obviously new, they give you a little envelope which is somewhere and that's classed as borrowed so when I've had my wedding day I can send a picture back to them and that's classed as something borrowed and there's a little silver heart on the bottom of the soles of each shoe and I just do you know like when you find a brand that you think yeah <laughs> that's the one so I just think they're gorgeous and they're so comfortable all I wanted was a comfortable shoe because we're getting married in October who knows what the weather is going to be doing it could be absolutely chucking it down it could be gorgeous so I wanted a thicker heel so I didn't have to worry about my stilettos sinking into the mud um, and I just wanted to be comfortable. Where we're getting married there are a lot of stairs that I've got to come down and I don't want to go flying. <laughs> Classic Bridget Jones style. Um, I will pop them on so you can see what they look like on my feet but yes very very happy and I can highly recommend them if you're in the market for wedding shoes absolutely beautiful this isn't sponsored they're not gifted i wish they were <laughs> but just from one future bride to another get shoes that are comfortable it's the most important thing and i wasn't gonna get um fancy shoes because i thought no one's gonna see them anyway but they are gonna be part of the day they're gonna be what you're wearing all day long so then being comfortable is really important and then there are sometimes little pictures that your photographer takes as well so yeah best of both worlds and i'm just so so pleased with them are you having a good time there Echo? These are all the bits that came out of my shoes and now they're apparently Echoes. This is them a little bit closer up so as you can see they've got like a, I don't know, it's like a really beautiful glittery kind of design which is just so beautiful and that's the underneath again. I just love them, I love them and then this little bit here comes off on the day, it's like a little plastic covering to protect them whilst I'm trying them on and things. But yeah, really, really happy with my choice. Uh-oh, double trouble. Can we leave those alone, please? I need to use them again. Hello? Excuse me. <laughs> it's the personal touches, you know? <laughs> and this is why we don't have nice things. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to show you is my, well, one of the bridesmaid dresses that I ordered, which I'm really disappointed in, and I'm really hoping I can get a refund. This is going to be the third bridesmaid dress that I've sent back which is annoying but when you buy things online you just really never know what you're gonna get which is why I went to the actual like a proper full-on bridesmaid dress shop yesterday without my bridesmaids which is so bizarre I know but while I was out and about I thought I just want to see that they've got the colour before I make an appointment and you know bring everyone to the appointment with me and I'm glad I did and I got to try the different styles on I have a completely different body type to both my bridesmaids but it was kind of nice just to see how they felt and the material and they just felt really nice. So this one is from Sincina, which I'd never heard of. I don't know if I would recommend, I'll let you know if I ever get my refund. But the actual dress quality is amazing. Unfortunately, the colour is nothing like what I wanted it to be. The colour that arrived and it was supposed to be like a rust colour. And as you can see, it's far from rust, <laughs> but it is beautiful. So I'm not going to do a very good job of showing this here. This is how it looks. So it's just like a really beautiful design, really long, but the complete wrong colour. Like this was supposed to be more of a rusty orange colour and it is on their website. And to me, it's more red. Like <laughs> it basically looks red. So I was a bit gutted by that. And I would have, a part of me was like, oh, it'll be okay. Like I do really like this colour, but it's much brighter than what I wanted and the problem I've had is a lot of the pictures on dress websites, photographers, like actual um, venues, websites and Instagrams is 
the photographers edit the pictures and they put a filter on it and it makes it so difficult to know what colour it actually is and I found it to be really annoying <laughs> so actually going in person yesterday was so much more helpful and the bridesmaid dresses I was looking at were by a company called Desi which I think is a more well-known uh, bridesmaid dress company I can pop this back away before the cats destroy it <laughs> and I've got no chance of a refund but because I've only got two, I've got a maid of honour and a bridesmaid, I am not really too worried about the cost, whereas I feel like a lot of people have like five or ten bridesmaids and that would start to get very pricey. So um, I will show you, where have I put my phone? I'll show you the, um, the actual bridesmaid dress that I want to go and have them try on and see if they like it and it fits them okay. And I showed a clip of, there was one dress that was like, not very bridesmaid in my opinion, uh, but it was the colour, like that's the colour. And she said it's a new colour this year because I'm having an autumn wedding. I just felt like that colour would be perfect. And then the other one, which was more of like a, a is it cow cowl neck? Uh, looked really, really nice, but obviously um, I got quite big chest and so it just it sat a bit different so I just want to try it on the girls and see how it looks on them and she said like they could adjust things and make things work so hopefully hopefully it does um but let's see so this is the style that I really liked with the just the simple cross back and in that color I just think it's so pretty <laughs> I want to get the bridesmaid dress sorted as a priority now so I can decide on suit colours and flowers as well and I just can't wait to show you all. I'm trying to decide how much I want to share and how much I want to keep a secret but it is fun to bring you all along and to just yeah be able to share openly and honestly how things are going. I'd love to know if you're getting married and how far along the journey you are or if you've been married and what your experience was and any recommendations you can make and any advice you've got would be greatly appreciated at this point because we are less than a year away and it is flying around oh my goodness me but I do hope you enjoyed this video a little bit different I know but a lot of you were requesting it and I thought you know what what better day to bring you guys along for a day in my life than yesterday I had the best day <laughs> so I do hope you've had a good day and if your day hasn't started I hope that it's a good one for you I hope you're more prepared for Christmas than I am today I'm going shopping so I'll make sure to film <laughs> that video as well I do hope you're enjoying vlogmas so far thank you for being here for watching thank you for liking my video it really does help and yeah have a really good day and I'll see you all again tomorrow Dreaming of you.